I'm going to be breathing in the girl's face the whole time. The least I can do is make sure my breath is fresh. Right, Mimi? We absolutely hear Mimi in the background. I decided to get ready. And if you can see, this is poop stains. I put the shorts on because I said, you know, when I'm closer to being ready, I have such a short torso. I said, when I'm close to being ready, I'm going to put the top on. I'm going to walk to the to the corner to get on, um, to drop off this little mail in one of the little mails, roadside mailboxes. Mimi is back there crying right now. And I'm wondering, do I change the shorts? I really love these shorts. I bought it from Shein. There's a top that comes with it. Hold on. You guys, she does not trust me. I went to put the passy in her mouth and she was just looking, not even taking it. This is a size small, so it definitely is an oversized fit. What does it say? It. So, we're gonna just, um, I'm gonna put her in the little carrier. I'm not taking anything with me. She just pooped the whole place down. Oh, the top is kind of big. Let's put that in. The poop stains are definitely gonna show. But it's okay, absolutely love this, especially for the summertime. I'm not really an oversized girly, but I guess we could get into that because it looks cute, right? Very cute. So we're gonna get her carrier. That's what I came for. And we're gonna strap her on and just walk to go do this real quickly. I don't know if we're gonna end up any further. I have to see what the weather is like. I need the umbrella too. Umbrella, you know what? I think we're gonna run to the bank. So we're gonna go outside anyways. Am I gonna pass a, a mailbox out the block or should I just go back there? Cause I know I'm not gonna pass on it. Either ways, when I come back, I'll have to go there anyways. But you know, I just brushed up my hair um, from the same ponytail from yesterday. It's a lot of squiggly just because I wrapped it up when I was going to sleep. But that's all we have going on. She's just wearing, hold on, let's take him. Let's take him. There's a lot of hairstyle going. <laughs> so cute. So damn cute. I should put a little lotion on my legs, but let's give her the passy. She's full because I literally just fed her. She's not really taking it. She's fine, I guess. I have this. I'm trying to use it out, but I added some vitamin C serum to the mix. Gotta make sure I get my butt cheeks because I think they're kind of out. Oh, bless you, sweetie. Definitely gonna wear my Crocs on my foot. Yeah, dad needs to sort out his shoes. A little outfit is so cute, I have to take a picture. Hi. already let's put some socks on because if we end up in somewhere with air conditioner you're gonna be cold I'm not gonna take her bag I'm gonna just take a little absolutely let me show y'all how I do this so she's strapped up as soon as I put her on me she's gonna be fine passy fell out remember when her passy falls out she goes wild the crowd goes wild and then we're gonna just pick her up. But first, I like to strap this piece around me because it's easier than when I already have her on. Hi, baby. Hi, my love. Okay. Because I put her on like a little backpack. Hi. See, once I have her on, she's fine. Oh, shit. I normally put a burp cloth on me and I put her in right there. Right there. Hi. She's definitely beginning to fill it out a little bit more. And I turn her head to the side, put her passy in, 
and we are ready to go. So I'm literally just taking this small bag with me that I'm able to throw across me. Oh, good thing I put a burp cloth. She spat right up. And that may have been the reason why she was a little bit, she was making a little bit of noise. Watch her trying to eat my hand. Because normally she's not, she's not a crier. Or girl is a good girl. She doesn't really cry like that. But normally when she cries, when you put her down, it's either she has to burp, she's pooped, she's hungry. Outside of that, she, you're chilling, she's chilling. We're all just here, chilling. Definitely need our umbrella because it's hot as balls outside. I had some gum, but I'm going to just take a mint. I'm going to be breathing in the girl's face the whole time. At least I can do is make sure my breath is fresh. Right, baby? Mm-hmm. She wrote the name on the wall. I think we're going to try and run to the bank first because she's probably going to get grumpy and over this shit. So, we're going to go real quick. There's nothing out there that's going to keep us. I have one AirPod in. The other one is there. She put my watch on so we can see what I burn, if anything. This is so easy. Strapping her up in this is so easy. When she outgrows this, I'm going to be sad. And bye. Phone. And we're off. See you guys when I come back. Hi. We're back. Dropped off the load of mail. I put the umbrella back. This is the quickest we've ever ran a Samaritan's. I love the walkability of where I live because everything is so accessible and that's great. I was able to run my errands in less than 30 minutes. I went to drop off some mail. I also went to the bank and could have gone to the grocery store. Would have taken a little bit longer, but I could have gone to the grocery store because it was right there. Centrally located. Everything is in one spot. Um, I was just saying on my Insta stories that it's one thing I notice about Mia and it's that her facial expressions are mine through and through. If she got nothing else from me, she definitely got that from me. The way how she looks at you, the way how she's looking at me right now, the way how she side eyes you, crazy. If I've contributed nothing else to her, I definitely contributed that and I don't know if that is my favorite trait at all. So I'm going to get her out of this, wipe her down a little bit. I'm going to wipe her down right now. And it's 4.23 p.m. Probably not. We're going to lounge in the living room. Um, she's not really sleeping or anything. And then, um, and then, um, we're going to get her something else to eat, wipe her down. And, um, yeah, this would have been like her little wake window because she did fall asleep. Okay, maybe not. So we're going to try and, like, transition her. Normally for her, transitions are not too, too bad. Let's try unclipping wow wow you hear this girl crying as soon as i put her down see see crazy girl so when i knew that i was gonna go into labor i had taken off my pandora bracelets because i didn't know what the situation would have been and at this point it's a good thing that i did because obviously i had an emergency c-section crazy so I'm going to try to put it back on now that I've had her and everything. It's, it's, the one thing about this is this shit is so damn hard to put on on your own. It's my least favorite thing about it. I could be complaining and it went on so darn easily. So we have that one and this is the new one that I got on Mother's Day. Her dad got me this. There's one charm on there that says mom and the other one says all of you loves all of me or all of me loves all of you. All of me loves all of you. Her dad bought these too um, this Mother's Day. And I'm looking because the last Mother's Day he had gotten me one too. Um, oh that one just says mom and it says I love you always and forever. I love you always and forever. Literally. <laughs> But um, this one is more like simple. It's very cute. Here are the charms. You know what I mean? Like, charms are so cute. Mom, yeah, we're gonna put this on this hand with the Cartier inspired bracelet that I have on that hand too, and my watch. I put this one on again. I think something like that. Yeah. This one is easier to put on. Hopefully, they don't affect her when I'm like holding her, feeding her. Hopefully they don't squeeze her and stuff like that because if they don't, I'm gonna have to take them off. Obvi. Bah. I'm gonna get changed. Relax a little bit. 
put my hair up. My outfit is so cute. I love it. Really should have bought more of this. But hey, smells like outside. You go outside for 10 seconds, your clothes smells like outside. And the bottom, as y'all know, already had poop on there before I left the apartment. So it's great. Put on my hamper. I got some mail. Oh, I hate that the credit card companies want to send you mail all the time. They really want us to be broke. Broke as a damn joke. Okay, we're going to clean everything here up and go on about. We're going to clean everything here up and go on about to the rest of our day. Maybe I'll find something to eat. I'm not really hungry right now. What did I eat before I left? Nothing, but I think maybe because I was eating the mint, so once that wears off, I'll see if I'm hungry or not, and then sort that out. But I'll see you guys later or so. She's sleeping on the couch, and I'm wondering if I want to risk transitioning her for her to wake up. I probably should, but I'm going to show you guys this. So as you all know, she's now getting the gentle ease. I always try to make sure that everything for her is prepped and ready to go at all times. Mainly because I'm not the only one that feeds her, so I want to make sure that everything is always ready. I pumped 36 ounces of milk between yesterday and today. But let's just check to make sure, because I think yesterday is when I emptied that. And um, I think you can do this for up to four days. You can have this in the fridge for up to four days. Today already, I pumped 20.5 20 ounces. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, I pumped 14.5 ounces. 20, 30, 34, 35 ounces, 36 ounces. She's over there crying. We're going to transition her. Oh, but so we have 36 ounces in here and I have two bottles ready to go for her next feed. Half formula and half breast milk because that is what we're doing right now because that is what we find works best for us and for her. She probably has to burp. I'm going to pick her up and put her on my shoulder. Try to burp her, put her in, set of her crib. Put these back in the fridge and we're gonna be ready for the evening basically but um I, it's six o'clock i think i'm going to when i put her down take care of myself shower and all that and then um basically just prepare to get ready for her find something to eat and wind down for the evening so that's where i'm gonna end today's vlog with my screaming baby in the back thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next vlog we're gonna go attend to her <laughs>